Welcome to the video everyone. This is Gary DeTonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com and I do tutorials on improving your photography and your image editing. So if that's something you're into, you should hit the subscribe button right now. All right, on to the video. Today's video is going to be about how to make a slideshow and Obviously, we could have a lot of choices for making a slideshow as far as what software to use. You could pretty much use any video editing program, but we want something simple and easy and free that already comes with Windows. And there's no more Movie Maker, but there is another option. If you have a new updated version of Windows, you can now use the new video editor to make slideshows, and it works pretty well. It's nice and easy and it's already free, it's there, it's ready to use, so why not give it a try, right? So let's jump in and let's see how it works. To get started making a slideshow in Windows 10, we first need to make sure that you have an updated version of Windows 10. So down in the little search bar, all you have to do is type in video and you'll see if you have an updated version of Windows 10, Video Editor will show up and you can just click on it. If you don't have Video Editor there, it's because you need to update Windows. You need to have a Windows version that's above 1809 and that should have the Video Editor. Alright, so let's get started making a project. You can see when this opens up we have a new video project. We can just click on that and you can title your video. Okay, then we need to start adding photos. So you click Add, and now you can add photos from, of course, your PC, uh, from a collection, or from the web. I'm going to add them from my PC. And I'm going to go to a, my Pictures folder, and I'm just going to grab a bunch of random pictures. Okay, once you've selected the images, you can click Open, and you can see that they all show up here. Notice there's a little check mark next to each one. Right now they're all selected. You could deselect that and drag them in individually one at a time, but I'm just gonna click and drag it down. Okay, so down at the bottom, you'll see that there's a little time for each image. If you wanna change the time that that image is displayed, you just click on duration and then click on a new time and you'll see that it updates down here. Unfortunately, I don't see any way where you can highlight all of the images to do it all at once. So you will have to go to each image and do it individually, which will take a little bit longer. Most video editing programs would let you do things to a whole bunch of images at the same time. So I guess this is why this is free. So now I have a different time on every image. Now, if you want to reorder the images, that's pretty easy. All you have to do is click on an image and drag it to a new location. So you can set the order exactly the way you want it. And then, if you want to adjust the size of the image, you just click on the image you want to adjust and then come to resize. And right now it is on shrink to fit, which is why we have some black bars on the side. So it depends on your image and whether you want to do this, but if I go to remove black bars, you can see that it enlarges the image so that it fills the screen and there's no more black bars. And so that works well for this image. And if I tried it on this image, you'd see that it has to really crop in to be able to do that. And I don't see any way to realign it. So it does not work at all for this image. So I would leave this on shrink to fit. Now, if you wanted to, you could change the background color and all that sort of thing. So I'll just go through these images and resize the ones that work. And I'll leave the other ones alone. Okay, so now all of my images are resized. When we come back to the first image, I might want to add some text, like some sort of a title. So I could make a title card, and I'll show you how to do that. If I do that, it adds a whole new card that's just going to be the title. And then we need to add text to it. And here you can see you have all sorts of 
different fonts you can use and there you have it you can also change the location of the text with these little boxes down in the bottom right I think I like it in the middle and you don't have a whole lot of other customization uh, there is a place where you can change the color I believe background okay so you can change the background color I'm going to leave blue and there you have it it's done now if you need to remove a slide all you have to do is click on the slide and then click delete you can also add text on any other slide so if I wanted this to be my first slide or my title slide I could add text to this slide and do it the same way So now it added text over my image instead of onto its own uh, slide. So now we have a title screen. We have our images that are ready to go. If you want to, at any time, you can play a little preview. And it'll show you what happens as it goes through the images. Okay? You can also scrub through the different scenes. Now, one of the other things you probably want is some sort of a transition. So when I click on this slide, if I come over to motion, you can see that there's all sorts of zooming effects. So let's say on this one I want to zoom into the center and then say done. I could have previewed it on that other screen, but let's start from here. You can see that it's zooming in very slowly on the owl okay so you can add that sort of transition to any slide you want all right so i want to go back to motions and i can give each one of these a motion preview the motion here what what it's going to look like I just did it quickly to uh, get this little slideshow finished the other thing you could do is use filters now filters are kind of like doing a little photoshopping to the image so you click on it and you get a little preview of what it's going to look like in my case most of the photos or in this case all of the photos have been edited already so I don't think I want to add a filter to them but I guess just for the heck of it on this slideshow let's add one all right and we'll go with that so we've covered just about everything here except for 3d effects now when you click on 3D effects, you've got all these little effects that you could choose. And if you click on it and drag it over, let's uh, extend that a little bit. You get all these cool animated effects that can show up over your images. And they give you quite a few. You can check out the effects panel here. It goes on for a little while, so you know, that's a pretty good feature for free software. And the other thing you can do here is there's a 3D library. It has all of these 3D animated objects. So if you go into these categories, same thing, you can pick an animated object, drag it onto your timeline, and 
it'll flow through your scene or do whatever it does. I'm not going to do this one because you have to log into Microsoft and I'm not logged in right now, so I'm not going to bother to do that. But if you like that sort of thing, you can add them to your heart's content. Now, I'm pretty much done, except that I haven't added music. Now, if you click background music, they have some background music that you can use built right into the program and you can just put that right in and you know it's it's quite a little list but if you wanted to use your own music you can come over here to custom audio and then you add your audio files that you may have downloaded or whatever uh, I just have to find some okay here are some I'll just choose piece of music and you can preview it if you want and then once you have it set up the way you like you say done now when I preview my show it has music to it I think that that is probably all I would do I have slides i have animations i have text and i have music and uh, let's say i tested it all out and it looks great now all i have to do is just finish and export my video so you click finish video and it asks you what kind of quality do you want you can have it as a 1080p which is standard high definition that's what we want you could have a medium high definition or a low i don't see any reason why you would go to lower but maybe it's possible so I'm going to choose the regular high, high definition there are more options here but uh, if you happen to have a, a video card that has hardware acceleration that is good to check and then you just say export and it's going to uh, ask you to give it a name And then when you click export, it's going to create it and export it. And that worked pretty quick. And here it plays the preview right away. So this is my quick and dirty slideshow. I think that this is a great little addition to Windows 10. It allows you to make quick and easy slideshows that you can share with your friends or share on social media. It doesn't cost you anything. It's fast, it's easy, and it's simple, and I think you should try it out. So again, this has been Gary D. Tonincourt from morethanasnapshot.com.